<laughs> Magandang pinagpalang araw na naman po sa inyo. Hangin na yun, mga magpapakilala mo niya sa inyo. Ako nga po pala si Jets TV Vlog. At ako ngayon, meron tayo na-discovery. Ako, ito talaga, kailangan, kailangan natin matanda, bata, ako, lalo na sa mga Japorns. Ito pong pupuntahan natin, eh, oh, siguradong masisihan kayo. Pero siyempre, bago natin ikutin ito, ah, ba, 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 babating mo natin mga senior citizen, mga PWD. No, kailangan, kailangan niyo po talaga ito. At sumunod naman po yung ating mga government employees. Shoutout po sa inyo lahat. At ang ating mga OFW, yung ating bagong-bagong bayani. O, di ba po, ano? Ako, napakira po ng ginagawa niyo. Eh, pagsasakripisyo niyo, mawalay sa mahal sa inyo, sa buhay. Di ba, ako, napakalaking kayuwaga sa buhay. Ganun eh, no? Pero siyempre, no, bago natin simula itong pag-ikot, ako ha, Pro 100 kina po tayo. Kaya ako sa inyo ha, kung masisihan na kayo, naku po, i-share niyo na to at mag-subscribe. At naku ha, malapit na, babulahin na natin ngayon po ha, 30 ha. Pamili na po tayo ng ating mga manalo ng Gcast na 500. Dalawa po sila ha. O, let's go na, ang dami ka naman, yaw, yaw. Oo nga pala, ano, ay may ikot nga, ito nga palang pupuntahan natin ngayon, no? Yung Asia Trends na yan, mga idol natin, no? Ayun. Ah, dito nga lang pala ito sa may, ano, sa Don Bosco, ayun, Don Bosco University yan. As tapat na tapat mismo, tapos may barangay hall. At dito tayo papasok. Yun, no? Boss, magandang hapon! Yun, no? Hapon! Boss, eh, gusto ko sana pumunta sa Asia Trends, yung Moretti ba, boss? Ah, sir, dito po ang sa loob. Sa loob? Dito po kayo. Tuloy na ako na, sir, ha? Dito, okay, dito. salamat, sir, salamat po. Yun, hello. And ang ganda pala ng mga ano rito, mga staff. Hello, uh, hello. hello. Ayun, hello sir. How are you? Sir, ang uh, magandang hapon po magandang po si Magandang hapon. Sir, ang tatagalog eh, sir. Nagtatagalog ako. Ah, okay ah. Yeah. Sir, pero parang gwapong gwapo tayo. Sir, ganyan din mukha ako dati, sir eh. Ah, ganyan ba? Oo, oh, kaso sir eh. Wala eh. <laughs> Hindi pinalad. Narawan, sir eh. Pahalad yan, pare. Iyon. All of us are handsome and beautiful in God's image, pare. Okay lang yun. Iyon <laughs> yun eh. Oh. Sir, magandang hapon. Eh, napansin ko eh, ang naganda ng mga uh, acres nyo. Pero, boss eh, sino nga po wala yun, sir? At nakikipag-usap na ako sa inyo. Pare, my name is Johnny. In the meantime, upo ka muna dito. Iyon. I will tell you something about myself. My name is Johnny. I am uh, one of the owners of Asia Trends and uh, marami po kami mga iba't ibat mga produkto na ini-import and one of our latest departments po is the Moretti Electric Cars or the Molet Moretti Electric Vehicles. So, itong mga Moretti Electric Vehicles is napaka... It's a very competitively priced electric car and uh, we have imported it and uh, we are looking at having it mainly mainstream distribution po dito sa Pilipinas. So, we have about seven to eight models na available po ngayon and I would like to uh, show it to judge one by one. Let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So this is our first vehicle. It's called the Moretti Conserva. It's a purely electric vehicle, a four-door electric vehicle, which can run as much as 100 kilometers per hour. And the only car which can run 100 kilometers per hour under a million pesos. So, ang tawag po natin dito is C1. Ito po yung modelo niya. And 799,000 pesos po siya. Wow. Sir, 799 pesos pero, teka sir, oh. eh, makakadaan ba ako ng mga ano niya? Kasi marami nagtatanong niya, sir, eh. Makakadaan ba ako ng Skyway dito? Yes. Ng Expressway? Yes. Para, ng baha? Ang normal, based on law, the minimum required speed talaga is 60 kilometers per hour. Mm. Yan talaga yung minimum speed. Pero syempre, 60 is not enough kapag nasa NLEX ka, SLEX ka, mm. Cavitex, uh, Skyway. So, at 100 kilometers per hour, it's just about right. So, based on my own personal driving, we have gone to as much as 105, 110. No problem naman po yun. Okay, sir. Kasi marami na talaga rin akong na napuntahan at nakita mga ganitong klase. Pero ito katulad niya. Sa inyo lang ako nakakita talaga ng nakalit yung battery pa. Tapos sobrang yes. layo yung mararating, sir. Kaya nagkaroon ako ng interest, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Thank at, you, thank you. sorry. Yun ang pinaka-highlight dito, sir, yung aircon. Yes. Diba? My dear, why don't you come inside? Let's go. Okay, my dear judge, I have invited three of my very cute employees dito. Ito medyo mahihayan itong naka-yellow. Mm -hmm. Ito naman medyo walang hiyana. Ito talagang walang-walang hiyana talaga dito. Okay. Yun. Okay. Si Ryan, si Lodette, at saka si Shannon. Okay, you know. ayan. Welcome to Moretti. Here we go, here we go. So anyway, uh, in other automatic cars, nakikita niyo naman yung R, which is reverse. N is neutral, tapos D is drive. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna put this on drive. 
this basically has a pedal brake or a foot brake and you know off we go so this is just a regular car no no difference pero yun nga electric lang nga siya and you're able to save a lot of money on gasoline so ang isang full charge nito which is about six to seven hours using your regular 220 volt outlet six to eight hours and then you can go as much as 138 kilometers sa isang full charge so kung sa meral ko pa yan around 120 to 130 pesos lang po ang isang full charge dito. it's as good as a regular car and the good thing about this car is it's you know it's very it's very silent no i'm gonna turn this off i'm gonna turn this off na. Mm. okay off na siya. okay so I'm gonna turn this on, okay? This, this is off basically. I'm gonna turn this on now. On na yung sasakyan. Okay. Walang ignition. Ito na yung ignition. So I'm gonna start driving this. Ayan. On. Right? Chilling. Turn on the air condition since medyo mainit na. Okay, are we ready to go out? Okay, sir. Try nga natin, sir. Try nga natin. This is, uh, this is a car talaga for practical people. Wherein you're saving a lot of gas, you're saving environment, you're saving money, everything. Uh, you know, and then of course you're also saving a lot of money dahil sa PMS, preventive maintenance, no? Uh, alam naman natin na yung car companies, or should I say gas chaka diesel cars, Alam, you know, I may 1,000 kilometer check up, my 10,000 kilometer check up, 20, 30, 40. Normally, pag 40,000 siya, 80,000 siya, 120,000 na yan, medyo magastos na yan. Kasi marami kang mga parts na kailangan palitan, marami kang oils dapat i-change, all that. Here, you don't have that problem in driving, an, in having an electric vehicle. So, napakaraming savings po, not only from... Uh, not only saving sa gas, pero savings din sa, ano, sa PMS, sa uh, preventive. Pero ilang kilometers, sir? 100? 138. So, 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 si Conserva, C1 siya, uh, 138 kilometers po talaga yung parang full charge niya. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, meron kaming isang variant na C2 yung tawag namin doon, parang ice tea lang, C2. Mm -hmm. So, C2 is uh, isang full charge is equal to 330 kilometers po. So, ito, C1 is basically costing uh, 799,000. Yung ating C3, uh, ating C2 is equal to 969,000. So, 332 kilometers po ang isang full charge niya. Mm, okay, sir. Okay, sir naman na mag-gochi nga naman kayo, eh, mas, ma, mas malaki ang magigastos, di ba, sir? Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh, Nandito tayo ngayon sa Santa Mesa. This is where Moretti is headquartered, mm -hmm. no? Uh, Moretti is imported by Asia Trends Import and Export Corporation. So, ako yung isa sa mga mayari doon. So, nandito kami sa Santa Mesa, Manila ngayon. So, Santa Mesa, Manila, papunta sa Taguig, where I live now, is BGC. It's around 14 kilometers. I-round off na natin to 15 kilometers. So, going to BGC and then back is equal to 30 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Yan talaga yung parang work day ko. Mm -hmm. So since 138 kilometers siya, the 138 kilometers divided by 30, it means I can go for four days. Mm -hmm. So ilang weeks, ilang, sa isang linggo, ilang beses ba ako mag-charge? Kung constant na, yung going home and coming, yun lang yung buhay ko. Mm -hmm. Eh di kung isang linggo, di talabang beses lang. Yun yung charge ko. Diba? So, ang isang full charge is equal to 120 pesos. Ang ibig sabihin nun, edi less than 300 pesos, boss. Okay na ako for going home and coming back okay. for a week. I right now have a diesel-powered car. Uh, I average spend between 2,000 to 2,500 pesos per week. So, as compared to less than 300 pesos per week, syempre, Nakikita naman natin yung difference. Mm. Presyo po natin is already inclusive of one year comprehensive insurance at saka yung LTO registration natin. 
Ah, kay kasama na pala. Kasabay na siya. Yung mga sakay natin, sir, ano to, sir? Nalulula ba sila o talagang tahimik lang? Tahimik lang. Tahimik lang. Oo, overwhelmed pa rin. Ah, okay. Judge TV is here. Ah, yun. At sir, ang, ang ganda ng ano niya, ah, ng panel niya rin dito, sir. No? Yes, yes. Napakalaki, yes. 7 inches yata yan. Yes. Ah, ba't parang napakadaming nakalagay din dito, sir? Bluetooth. Uh, basically, you have, you know, you can, you can tune into music, you can watch movies. Okay. You have a USB port here. So, parang talagang basics to. Mayroon Anything? mas kaya meron yung bato, sir? Yes, meron, oh, okay. meron, meron. Mm -hmm. let's, let's go somewhere, tapos i-on ko yung reverse para makita natin. Mm -hmm. Okay, nag-reverse siya. Nag-reverse tayo, sir. Yes. Ah, sa man, laki ah, kitang kita din pala. Yes. Hindi ko din, no? Sa so, subukod dito sa, sa panel na to, yan, may control panel. Sir, ano naman may kita see, dito, sir? As you can see dito, you have the speedometer right here, no? And then nakikita niyo yung charge na 93% siya. And then sa ilalim nun, nakikita niyo na 129 kilometers ang pwede pa niyang takbuhin. Okay. Okay, so basically at least you know on uh, on how many kilometers are left. So at least you can, you know, you can already plan your day based on this. And napakaganda po kasi you can literally charge this anywhere. Eh. So ang ibig sabihin ng kailangan lang talaga ng 220 volt na regular outlet. So, kumbaga parang it's not something na magpapanik ka kasi hahanap ka ng uh, malaking charger, kailangan mo ng you know, malaki na, na, no, na parang dedicate kasi you have a few places like SM Siguro or oh, Macdo. Oh, hindi na kailangan pala ka magkarap ng SM. Yes, hindi na. Okay. Kumbaga parang a regular 220 volt outlet is already good enough. Uh, this is a this car runs on lithium batteries. So, yung specs ng ano ng battery nito is uh, almost 11 kilowatt hour. So it's just a regular driving experience. Pero yun nga, you're you're driving an electric vehicle, an electric car. You're saving money on gas. You're saving the environment. You know. Oh, yun kala nyo, kala natin sa Pilipinas parang we don't really environment. Merong merong mga ganon. Mm. It's true. It's actually there. I mean, right now sa sa US at sa Europe, there's so much climate change awareness, no? As compared sa Pilipinas. Pero the truth is. We have to, you know, do our own share as far as saving the environment is concerned. Because, you know, we have kids. We plan to give this. We plan to. We plan to leave uh, Earth as a better place, de ba? Para sa kanila. So I think uh, going electric talaga is the way to go. The good thing about um, our phones today is, uh, syempre, may mga apps na tayo. Uh, Google Maps. You have Waze. Na nagbibigay. Encode lang yung address nyo doon. Eh, nagbibigay na sila ng parang. Uh, idea kung ilan yung maging kilometro uh, yung yung takbo ninyo. So for example, kung nagsasabi naman siya na 120 kilometers ang naiiwan dito. So syempre, dito papuntang Cavite baka siguro 30 siya or 35 kilometers. Then okay lang, ba? You're you're still in a very good position. Pero syempre, if you go further, okay lang naman din, pero you just have to be very conscious lang on your range. Guys, at the end of the day, we all have to understand that this is really a city driving car na pwede mag NLEX, pwede mag, you know, SLEX, Cavite, Skyway and all that. No problem doon. Expressway legal naman siya. But the question is, if this is going to be, kumbaga, everyday ba kayo nagbabatangas? Everyday ba kayo nagtatagay tayo from Manila? So, syempre, kung everyday, parang punta kayo doon, tapos everyday yung balik nyo, then maybe the 138 kilometer na C1 na range is not the car for you. Maybe you need to get a 330 kilometer range. Or baka siguro nagbabagyo kayo every day. Ilan ba yung kilometer papunta ng Baguio? Eh, syempre, this is not the car for that. Pero kung papunta ng Baguio, will it be able to go to, yung, for example, pwede ba siya mag-ahon or pwede ba siya mag-elevate? Mag okay, kaya naman yun. That's no problem. ba? Pero you always have to bear in mind that Dito, papuntang Makati, papuntang QC, papuntang Taytay, Antipolo, anything for city driving purposes na everyday na ginagamit mo, this is your perfect car. But if you plan to go somewhere, let's say around 500 kilometers to a to 1,000 kilometers away na you want to use your car, syempre, di pa rin, uh, di pa rin ka, kumbaga parang hindi pa rin niya kaya kung tuloy-tuloy as compared to a gas or a diesel-powered car. So if this is your first vehicle, and yung, yung driving nyo is, you know, is, uh, is within the city lang naman or maybe going to Cavite, Laguna or whatever and coming back, di ba? Okay na po ito. Pero if, uh, if, your, if, your, if your daily life is going to Baguio every day, going in the morning, coming in the evening, eh, syempre, you know, you're always better off. 
and then uh, sticking to a gas-powered car. Tsaka isa pa, if this is gonna be your second car, and yung first car natin na gas-powered mm. or diesel-powered car, yan ang gawin natin parang secondary car. Mm. Kasi hindi naman everyday na you're, you're, going out, you're, you're going out of town with that car. Eh. Then yun ang siguro for out of town purposes na ito na yung magiging parang city car natin, city driving car natin. Yung daily, 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 daily na car natin. So my dear, we're gonna see what's inside the conserva. Ito po yung uh, normal na mga natin sa mga electric vehicle po. So ito po yung relay block po niya. So relay block po, nandito po yung mga fuse. So makikita po natin dyan yung mga fuse and uh, relays po. So ito yung, this is the uh, accessory battery po. So ito po yung 12 volts na battery natin para sa mga ilaw po and sa horn din natin. So this is the onboard charger po. So from here, makikita po natin, nandito po yung port niya. Oh, okay. So ito yung charging port niya. So from here, from AC po, so pagpasok niya dito, i-convert niya to para maging DC papasok po doon sa baterya po natin. And then this one po is the controller for the motor po. Yung motor po is nasa ilalim po. So nandun po yung 29 kilowatt po na motor po. So dito pala ako mag-charge? Yes po. Sila po yung hood, so wala po talaga siyang uh, makina. And yung battery po na lithium is nandun po sa ilalim po talaga siya. Nasa bed po mismo siya ng car po. This is the component po of the electric car po. Ito naman si Moretti Olivo. No? Uh, so this is uh, a very cute vehicle. It's a four-door hatchback. As you can see, apat po yung pintuan niya. One, two, obviously three, four sa kabila. No? So, ayan. This is our four-door Olivo na hatchback. Uh, hatchback na ang tawag po natin dito is Olivo. Ayan, that's basically the Moretti Olivo. Electric vehicle din siya. And uh, the good thing about this electric vehicle is versatile siya. Kasi you can also add a distance expander gas module dito sa hood. No? Wow. Ang ibig lang sabihin nun is, for example, ang isang full charge kasi nito is 6 to 8 hours. And you can go as much as 100 to 110 kilometers po as a full range. So for example, kung 90 kilometers na, 20 kilometers lang na iiwan, eh di mas maganda na may distance expander gas module po tayo. Para, lagay lang tayo ng gasolina, it will power your battery para mag-continue pa rin yung voyage po ninyo. Now, this is, ang ating speed po dito is basically 45 to 50 kilometers per hour. Uh, for city driving, perfect speed lang po siya. Pero syempre, pag uh, pag expressway na, SLEX and NLEX and all that, you're gonna have, baka siguro masisita po tayo mm -hmm. ng, ano, ng mga enforcer. So, this would be really, really appropriate para sa city driving. So, Manila, Makati, Pasig, BGC, uh, QC and all that. Okay? So, this is the Olivo. Ito naman, this is the Albero. No? It's a two-door pickup. No? And uh, parang mini pickup siya kung tawagin. It's also purely electric. And same din, 45 to 50 kilometers per hour po yung, yung, ano, yung speed po niya. And sa isang full charge, it's gonna be 100 to 110 kilometers ang full charge niya. Ito, this can be also used for uh, negosyo. You can load as much as 900 kilos to 1,000 kilos po sa kotse na ito. So this is the two-door Moretti Al Albero. Two-door pickup po siya. So, kung may two-door tayo, eh, automatic may four-door na rin tayo. No? So, the same thing, 40 to four, uh, 45 to 50 kilometers per hour yung speed, 100 to 110 kilometers yung range, and you can also put a distance expander gas module dito. Alright? So, four-door pickup po siya. So, this is gonna be featured in one of Judge TV's next exploration or ex next expedition. Okay? Ito naman si Adera. Okay? Four-door din siya na hatchback. Each full charge is equal to 100 to 110 kilometers. And six to seven hours pa rin yung ating full charge dito. The last three cars, itong pangapat na to, all of these guys use lead-acid battery. Mm. So if you want to upgrade that to lithium, pwede naman din po. Okay? Ito naman yung ating Jeep. Ang tawag dito sa Jeep na ito is si Mogano. No? So you have the Adera there, you have the Mogano here. It's also a four-door Jeep, mini Jeep siya. 
Uh, you have a solar panel on top. Lahat po ng kotse natin, kaya po natin lagyan ng solar panel. So, dalawang klase yung solar panel. Yung isa is patong, parang kalo. No? So, while you are parked, you're able to still enjoy uh, charging your battery and with, you know, with free energy coming from the sun. Okay? And then, uh, same thing, for 45 to 50 kilometers pa rin yung speed. 100 to 110 kilometers yung full range niya. And you can also install a distance expander gas module dito. Okay, so this is the Mogano. Now, ito naman, yung parang Bumblebee, usong-usong yung Transformers ngayon. So, you know, we came up with this car. We're in parang two-tone siya. Ang tawag naman namin dito is Berbena. It's also a Jeep, just like the Mogano. Iba lang yung face niya. Uh, same thing, each full charge is about 100 to 110 kilometers. Uh, six to seven hours yung isang, yung isang full charge yung full charge niya. So technically around 120 to 130 pesos bawat full charge. Ito naman, solar panel. If you notice, hindi siya patong. Ang tawag dito is embedded. Kasi talagang naka-embed siya. So some people prefer embedded and some people prefer yung talagang nakapatong. Pero guys, as you note, take note, syempre mas malaki yung solar panel na ito. So mas marak, mas... Marami yung uh, charge na makakarga niya para sa baterya as compared to dito. No? Let us not completely think na yung solar panel, 6 hours or 7 hours of this can already charge your entire battery in dito. It will only charge a small percentage, mga 15%, 20%, parang ganun. So yung solar naman, optional lang naman siya kung gusto niyong idagdag. Sir, eh, paano nga pala, sir? Ano oras nga pala kayo nabubuka, sir, dito? We are Monday to Saturday. Uh, 9 o'clock in the morning up to 6 o'clock. So from time to time, if you guys would like to schedule a uh, test drive, let's say maybe the evenings or maybe on Sundays, pwede naman din yun. Mm. Pero by schedule lang, by appointment siya. Mm. Ah, yung araw ng buka, sir? Monday to Saturday, okay. 9 to 6, except on regular holidays. Again, pag holidays, okay lang naman din, pero yun nga, dapat may parang prior appointment tayo. 